So I wasn't even recording for the first five minutes, but I guess it turns out to be a good thing. I guess it's a sign from Lord Jesus because I had lipstick all over my teeth. So take two, here we go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you the best of NYX Cosmetics, at least in my eyes. I believe I've done two of these kind of best of videos before. One was for e.l.f. and then the other one was ColourPop. However, if you guys are familiar with ColourPop, you know they basically have new releases every other day. So that was concentrating mainly just on lips. But if you guys would like to see more of these best of brand videos, be sure to leave your request down below. Or if you would want to see another like best of ColourPop, if we do eyeshadows or eyeliner or something like that, just let a girl know. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of skip around just because I have eyeshadows, I have face products, I have a ton of different products from within the line. If you guys are new to NYX Cosmetics, I feel like it's a great brand to start off with just because the color range is huge. There's so many different products to pick from and now it's a lot more readily available. You can find them at Target, I believe both Walgreens and CVS. I'm pretty sure I've seen it in one of those before. Um, and then Ulta, I think, is where you can get the best selection besides the actual NYX store, but I don't have one of those close to me. So I do a lot of my shopping either online or at Ulta. Oh, one more quick thing before we get into the video. I know I'm always like, one more side note, one more side note. Um, but for real though, I tried my best to wear a lot of these products on my face. That way you could see kind of how they translate on the skin just to get a better idea. And then for the products that I'm not wearing and basically every other product in the video, I will have little swatches and annotations going on for you guys. So hopefully that'll be helpful. Okay, so first things first on... First things first on I have to say out of the eyeshadows in the line, the prismatic shadows are hands down my favorites. If you guys are fans of the Makeup Geek foil shadows, I find these to be pretty similar, but instead of being like super, super soft, one flaw about those Makeup Geek foil shadows, I love those, they're absolutely beautiful, but those are almost so soft to the point where like if you go too hard with your brush or you like nick your finger in it, you basically ruin half the pan, which is super sad. These are still silky and buttery to the touch, but they're not quite as fragile as those, so that's nice. But the color line isn't quite as big as Makeup Geek, but you can still find a lot of gorgeous shades within the line. My absolute favorite though is Fireball. I have some of this on my lid right now. It's just a super gorgeous, like richly saturated copper. I want to say there's about 12 to 16 colors in the line. Watch it only be like nine and me making up that number, but you get the gist. If you're a neutrals girl, there's plenty of shades for you. If you like more color, there's some gorgeous blues, silvers, purples. I want to say they're anywhere from $7.99 possibly $9.99. Like I said, all of that extra goodness will be listed somewhere within this video for you. Some other shadows that I have on my eyes. I went super ham with the copper just because there was a couple of products that I forgot I had in my collection that I was like, why haven't I used this? Because this used to be one of my absolute favorite products. I want to say these were one of the very first products that I picked up from NYX. Before, like this is while I was living in Florida, we didn't have an Ulta yet, but there was a, what is it called? Like the perfume shop, the fragrance something. And it was in the Destin outlet malls, the silver, what is that even called now? I haven't been in so long. Silver Shells outlet mall. If you guys are familiar with the Destin area, they have the teeniest, tiniest little Nick stand within that store. And I had picked up both of these. I want to say they were like $1.99 or $2.99. Um, Ulta right now, I believe NYX is buy one, get one half off although I'm not quite sure when this video will go up. But if you just keep an eye on their ads, NYX does a ton of sales all the time. But these are the Ultra Pearl Manias. I have several of these, but these two are hands down my favorite, especially this one. Unfortunately, the label where like the name was on, it kind of worked both as a label and the little protective seal for the lid, so I peeled it off. But I wanna say this one is called Copper or Penny, something like that. I'll look online and I'll list it down below for you guys. Basically, these are just little teeny tiny jars of pigments. I've had these for years and I haven't even made a dent in them yet. This shade though is like the most metallic, super finely milled pigment. They're super, super easy to work with. I love using some type of like, I'll use the NYX glitter glue base just because that's kind of thicker or I'll use like the Violet Voss glitter glue adhesive, anything like that. This stuff stays on your lid. As long as you go in with like a nice dense like flat shader brush or just your finger, you can really pack it onto the lid and I don't really ever have any problems with fallout. So these I highly recommend checking out. I think they're definitely underrated. I never really hear anybody talk about these and I don't know why because day go. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and stick with kind of eye products. This is a newer one to my collection. I got this in a swag bag at BeautyCon. Now, today I went to Ulta. Why am I yelling? 
whoa. Today I went to Ulta because I had to pick up another one of the lipsticks that I finished. And so I wanted to look more within the face and body glitter line. This is the only one I have and it's in the shade Copper. I did put a tiny bit of this just on the center of my eyelids just to add some sparkle to my life. It seemed like within this line it was mainly colored shades like purples, silvers, blues. I don't use those like on a day-to-day -day basis. There was a bronze like in the little end cap thing they were all out, of course, story of my life. So this is the only one that I have, but I have to say when I first looked at it, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. The glitter looked pretty chunky, but once you open it, it does have a sifter and it's actually a pretty nice fine glitter. It's nowhere near as messy as like Makeup Geek Sparklers, although I love those. Those things get everywhere. So if you've been looking for a good copper glitter, I would highly recommend this one. If you layer this on top of either Fireball or this little pigment that I showed you, it's like the prettiest, sparkly, most metallic -y goodness when it comes to copper. I'm just a fan of copper shadows, clearly. The final kind of eye products I have here, no, just kidding, there's two more. These are another product that I find highly underrated and I don't know why people don't talk about these. I've used these in tutorials a ton in the past. Um, Salmon is the main one that I use over and over again. These are the NYX Roll-On Shimmers. I wanna say they're anywhere from $3.99 to $4.99. Okay, so the packaging is very similar to like the old school Wet n Wild like clear gloss, roll-on gloss things. I don't like going straight on, like rolling it onto my eye because it's not that smooth. Like the packaging is cute, but it doesn't roll on evenly. Like you'll get a super thick amount of shimmer and then all of a sudden there's nothing. And so then you're left with like these patchy eyeballs that just aren't cute. So my favorite way to apply it is I'll just roll it back and forth on my hand and I'll get like a nice little layer of the pigment. I'll put on whatever base I want, whether it's a jumbo pencil, um, with these, once again, I like to use either the Violet Voss Glitter Adhesive or the NYX Glitter Glue. Then I'll just dab my finger in it and press it right onto my lid. I think they're definite underdogs within the line, and I don't know why. They need some more love, so just go adopt one and bring them home, and you'll be super happy. Ugh, that was loud. This is the NYX NYX, whoa, no it's not. This is the NYX Trejo Lee Eyeliner. I think at least the last time I checked, they still only come in two shades, which is just black and brown. Oh, just kidding, pitch black and brown. Hands down, my favorite gel liner pencil, whether we're talking drugstore or high-end, I prefer these over the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On pencils. Um, what else is super popular that's like a pencil pencil? The NARS, the black one, I can't think of the name. That's good, but I think this is even better. And it's retractable. You guys know how I feel about retractable pencils. There is a sharpener though on the bottom if you just want to sharpen the point. But yeah, I mean, retractable pencils are life. These are amazing both on the tight line, on the water line, or on the lower lash line if you wanna smudge it. It does not budge. I don't have any issues with it, like migrating to my inner corner and giving you those like black gooey eye boogers. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so gross. The very final one, this is the main reason I went to Ulta and they didn't even have my shade, which I was so sad. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I freaking love this brow pencil. The very first time I got it, I was like, okay, quit trying to copy Anastasia, but I'm not gonna lie, I've been repurchasing this one more and more. Like, I haven't bought a NYX, not a NYX, an Anastasia Brow Wiz in forever. I still use her brow pomade and her other products, but I'm really happy with this one. This one's in the shade blonde, obviously, and not my color. I do use this sometimes though in the front of my brows and then blend it out, but ash brown, if you have like my tone eyebrows, is perfection. I have like brunette and chocolate. Oh no, maybe there's only brunette and not chocolate, but yeah, ash brown and medium are hands down the two best colors if you guys are like, my hair color or eyebrow color, I love them. So it's just a retractable brow pencil. I like it, it's not too waxy, it's not too dry, and then you have a really great spoolie on the other side. They have these at Target too, but my Target is always sold out of that same color. Apparently everyone loves ash brown, so if someone here is like buying all of them and keeping them from me, shame on you because my eyebrows miss them very badly. For complexion products, I really like the NYX pore filler just for my enlarged pores right here on the sides of my nose. If you guys are fans of like the effect that the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer like the original gives but you don't like how greasy it is, this does the same thing. It has that nice silicone feel to where it blurs out your pores but in my opinion, Smashbox can sometimes leave behind an oily residue. This one doesn't do that. It just comes out kind of weird. Like it's never fully 
like an even squirt it it's almost like it sprays out kind of but it's still thicker and it's like a beige tone but it just melts right into your skin and it's colorless but I love this one just because it doesn't make my skin feel like weird and like greasy in a heavy way. Like the foundation that I'm wearing today, this is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. I'm pretty sure this is the priciest one that I have in today's video. I think this was $17.99, which is kind of expensive for a drugstore foundation. What would I compare this to? I don't know if they're trying to say that it is similar to Makeup Forever HD, but in my opinion, it kind of has that same look. It's like overall a basic medium coverage, but it's buildable without getting cakey. It's a thinner, runnier foundation, which you guys know I love. I'm not into like super thick, moussey foundations. I love a foundation that just has like a really thin, runny viscosity. So I love this one. I use the shade 102 Soft Beige at least for right now since I'm super, super pale. But yeah, definitely a pricier foundation at the drugstore, but if you've been wanting to try one out, I really like this. I know there's NYX has several foundations. There's a stick foundation, not a fan of that one. Then there's like the NYX Invisible HD, something like that. That's supposed to be a full coverage okay. one. And now one of my holy grail products from NYX that I've purchased, I want to say about three times now. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. Now it comes in the color correcting powder and then the pressed version. I don't like the powder. I find this to look very drying on my under eyes. It almost like emphasizes any darkness or like creases that I have down here but the powder is so silky smooth it definitely brightens um I know lots of people like the Ben Nye banana powder that one once again is like a loose powder like this that one I feel like almost leaves behind a sallow look on my face just because I don't know if I it's because I already have like a yellow undertone or what but that one I don't like however this banana powder doesn't leave any look weird looking sallow like yellow tones it definitely does brighten the under eye area I love how silky smooth it is my favorite way to apply it is with a dry beauty blender or like a beauty blender that's almost dry I'll kind of just get it in here and then I'll just pat this right onto my under eyes I love it I have the lavender one and the green one as well but Banana is definitely my favorite. I love this powder. I've gone through so many of these. When it comes to the brand as a whole, my favorite out of their entire line is definitely their lip products. I think they kill it with their lip products when it comes to like a drugstore. Would you consider NYX drugstore or not? I do, kind of like a middle, yeah, overall drugstore though because the prices are pretty drugstore-ish, I guess. But I think their strong point is definitely their lip products. I absolutely love them. I've done two separate dedicated videos swatching like their lip butters and then their soft matte lip creams. Since then, they've released a ton more colors. But let's go ahead and start off with the soft matte lip cream. I think I really, oh no, just kidding. I got two. These two are hands down my favorite. I thought I had one red one in here. I want to say it's Monte Carlo or something like that. That red, I love. It's like a super intense, deep red. But my other two favorite, is this pronounced can? I think it is. When I look at it, I want to say cans, but I'm pretty sure it's just can. And then Prague. I've used two, maybe even three, full one of these tubes. I absolutely love this color. It's beautiful any time of the year. If you're just doing like a super simple eye or just wing liner and lashes and you wear this as a bold statement lip. It's stunning. They're super long wearing. I don't find them to be drying. Then moving on to the butter glosses. These three are my absolute must-haves. This one is more of an interesting color. A lot of you may not like this. It's kind of a weird brown taupey grayish type shade, but I love it. It's called Ginger Snap. The butter glosses smell incredible. I forgot if I, I don't think I said, if you guys aren't familiar with the soft matte lip creams, these have more of a moussey texture and then the glosses are just a super nice lightweight gloss it's not sticky at all it's kind of like some of them are sheer but then a lot of them are pretty pigmented this one here is a color that i feel like would look stunning on everyone it's just a really good kind of everyday dusty rose color it's called angel food cake and then one of my favorite nudes is madeline 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 okay now for the butter lipsticks i'm actually not that crazy about this formula i had i want to say almost every color in the line i got rid of a ton of them but these two just really stood out to me first is a root beer float a lot of them seem to feather but for whatever reason these two colors stay in place for me i don't notice that them like getting all over my teeth and feathering like all over my lips this one is gorgeous on its own but i also like to layer this one on top of the lippy lingerie in exotic but another color i love this one is tan lines this one is newer but i'm actually wearing this right on top 
of where did you go cans soft matte lip cream right now and then I layer it with tan lines I was thinking I was wearing exotic but this is the combination that I'm wearing right now now for actual lipsticks I have the NYX matte lipsticks these can be on the drying side like after three or four hours normally I apply something on top of it whether whether it's a butter gloss or a butter lipstick just because the center of my lips will start to get tight but I love these two colors this one here is Eden if you're into blue based reds this one is perfect it lasts a long time but this one here is newer it's called crazed newer like to my collection I love this color it's kind of like a brownish brick red and then the very final and probably my most favorite product within the NYX line are their lip liners these are just their wooden lip liners I prefer these over the retractable liners I have several of these and I don't reach for them that often but just their classic what are these called just lip liner pencil these I think are like $3.99 there's tons of shades love these lip liners I prefer these over my ColourPop over my MAC lip liners something about pencil lip liners in my opinion they just tend to last longer a lot of other lip liners like that come in these retractable tubes I feel like they're a little bit silkier and softer and they transfer or like move around your lips easier but since these pencils they're pigmented, but they're a little bit drier, which I prefer. I just think it's easier to control. You can really create like, I have lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> Why? You can slightly overline your lips without looking like crazy clownish and without having to worry about it. Like if you have any enlarged pores around your lips, it won't settle in there. It won't feather up your lip line. I love these. I'm buying these lip liners constantly. So I have my favorites right here. I think I actually have two of two of the same shades peekaboo neutral natural mauve and i think nude pink are my favorites i have the reds i have the vibrant pinks i love these and the best part is they're super super affordable so if you're wanting to like expand your lip liner collection and you haven't tried these yet i would highly recommend picking up one or two like if the buy one get one half off sale is going on those are all my favorites from nyx i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you guys would like to see more of these best of videos. Let me know what brands you guys would like to see next and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!